you for watching this video. I know I've been gone such a long time, but so many wonderful things have been happening around here. And I will eventually share those with you. But I got to get myself on track. We are going to be doing the Zodiac readings for June 2022. Um, I'm going to pull one card for each Zodiac sign. And this is going to kind of be something that you should pay attention to. Maybe something that you need to be aware of. Or maybe something that you probably might need to um, try to avoid. Okay, so let's just see what's going on. I'm going to be using my uh, tried and true Universal Rider Weight Tarot deck. And um, let's get started. Okay, as always, Aries, you are first up on target. Aries, you have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about new adventures. More specifically, it's about new adventures as far as career is concerned. <coughs> Please forgive me. So Aries, new opportunities are coming your way. Got to keep yourself ready to move when the time comes. Taurus. Taurus, you've got King of Pentacles reversed. Where do your values lie, Taurus? Are you actually spending your time on the things that will get you somewhere, on the things that will help you move forward? Are your goals actually tangible? Think about that, okay, Taurus? Gemini, that's me. Gemini, four of pentacles reversed. Immediately, you need to be grounded. You need to make sure that you're feeling secure in who you are, where you are, so that when, when you move forward, <coughs> pardon, <clears throat> you're actually creating steps that provide value for you when you're moving forward. Okay, Gemini? <clears throat> Cancer. Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands for you, Cancer, means you're also in gear up mode. You're in hardcore passion mode. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that what you're doing is actively moving forward. Even if it's baby steps. Even if it's just the tiny step of a kitten moving forward. But for you, it is all about the adventure and all about the journey. Yes, the end result is does matter. But truthfully, Cancer, move forward no matter how fast or slow you happen to go. And be passionate about it. Um, Leo, Seven of Swords, Leo, not so great. But with the Seven of Swords, what this means is you don't have room for shenanigans. You don't have room for people to try to pull the wool over your eyes or, more to the point, vice versa, Leo. You have no room to play games here. Be a straight shooter. Be upfront. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Okay? Virgo. Page of Cups, Virgo. With the Page of Cups, it's about learning a new way to tap in emotionally to the people that surround you. And especially the young people right now. Young people, Virgo, are needing your advice. They're needing your attention. They're needing for you to be a part of their lives. And I promise, with this Page of Cups... The rewards, especially on the emotional front, are very, very good. Libra. Three of cups reversed, Libra. So basically what this is boiling down to for you, Libra, is don't party too hard. 
There's plenty of time for you to kick up your heels and have a good time. But when it comes right down to it, make sure your head is in the game as far as your career is concerned. Make sure your head is in the game as far as the people that you care about. The emotional connections that you have. That's where you need to pay attention. And that's where you need to focus all your time and energy. There's plenty of time to party. Right now, be in the moment. Okay? Scorpio. Scorpio, five of swords, Scorpio. I would ask you this one question. No matter what your thoughts are, no matter what you're going to be doing, no matter what is on the horizon, is it in your best interest or is it in the best interest of the grand picture at large? Is it good for you? Or is it good for the world that surrounds you? Think about that before you make actual decisions. And I want to throw it out that way because what might be good for the world may not be good for you and vice versa. What might be good for you may not be good for the world that surrounds you. So think about that, okay? Scorpio, nope, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you've got... The Magician Reverse. The Magician Reverse is focus your power. Focus your energy. You're all over the place, Sagittarius. And the hard part about that is, is that there are so many things that you want to get done. And you're doing a little bit here and there and everywhere. But you never end up with a finished product. Focus on start to finish with every single project you've got on your plate. You're going to feel, <clears throat> sorry, you're going to feel so much happier with the end results as if you focus where, on what you're doing and where you are. <coughs> Pardon. Capricorn. The lovers. Okay, so with the lovers, Capricorn, this is a time for you to actually make a decision about what is truly important to you. Where do you fit in? What's your niche? And if you have decisions to make as a result of the lover's card, really think about the end result. It's not how you get there. It's the fact that you get there and where is it you're ending up, okay? So really think about your decisions. Aquarius, two of cups reverse Aquarius. You definitely gotta make sure that the people you love are aware of your intentions. I wanna say this card more to the point makes me feel like check in on the people that you care about. Check in on the people that you love. Because if you don't, it could be really easy for something really important to fall through the cracks. And I'm not saying that that means that you're responsible. But what I am saying is that if you're feeling the nudge to reach out to someone, please go ahead and do so. Somebody may be crying an unspoken cry for help. Okay, so just pay attention to what's going on around you. Check in with your people. Pisces, Pisces, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Don't spend money you don't have. If you don't have the physical cash in your pocket, Pisces, then don't spend the money. Unless it's in your hands and you have it extra to spare. Don't waste money. No one has room to hope that they can afford whatever it is they're thinking about. So Pisces, mind your money. Don't waste a dime. There you have it, everybody. The Zodiac readings for July. No, June. It's been so long since I've done a Zodiac readings. I almost feel like I forgot how to do one. For June 2022, Thank you for paying attention to this video, and I will keep you guys informed of what's going on in my life, okay? Thanks for watching this video. Bye!